to stand. There's a little uh, partition up there, it used to be called a boys' pen, uh, and it was just the back of the cop. And uh, I went there for a couple of seasons. It was the cheapest part of the town to get in, like, and probably the safest. And then eventually uh, I um, started going on these terraces here. Then, uh, you know, I never ever actually sat in a stand once to watch a game, it was always in the cop. And what about travelling to Anfield from your home? How did you used to get here? We used to have a bus that run from the top of the street uh, called the Woodfooters Football Bus. We used to just get on that at one o'clock. I'll be here for half one week. And what did it mean to you, John, after paying your dues a bit at Newport and then with Oxford to come and lead the attack that you used to watch as a schoolboy? Oh, it's, it's always been my ambition, really, in life, uh, which I thought I'd, at 28 when I come here, I thought it'd pass me by. John Aldridge's debut as substitute so nearly ended in glory, but a point of peace reflected a good day's work for both teams. Gillespie to Hanson. Oh, beautiful ball there from Hanson. Here's Ronnie Whelan, crossing. Ian Rush there, he's got it. Is it it's going to be the equaliser, and it is! John Aldridge has got it! What a game this is! Nein, es war John Aldrich, der neu verpflichtete Mann aus Chelsea. Und da hat man schon gesehen, man weiß es ja, in der Luft. Da sind sie, will ich sagen, unschlagbar, aber... Men etter hvert så kom Liverpool mer med i spillet og her er vi fremme etter fem minutter og da oppstår denne situasjonen der John Aldrich mener at han har satt ballen i mål og gitt Liverpool ledelsen, men skåringen blir ganske så korrekt annullert for offside. Og det er John Aldrich, ny innkjøpet til Liverpool som var på farten gang på gang i denne kampen og skal altså fylle tomrommet etter Wien Rush da som tar straffesparket. Han finter ut Geir Medios og setter ballen sikkert i mål, og etter 38 minutter de første omgang så står det 1-1. Da var kampen selvfølgelig avgjort, men etter 41 minutter så skal vi være med på et fint Liverpool-angrepp av Steve Nichols som drar det hele i gang, får med seg Johnson på høyre siden. Nå hadde også lagelederen, eller manageren selv, Kenny Daglish, kommet inn på banen. Her er det Paul Walsh. Han finner Daglish tilbake, men Daglish spiller over til... Alltid like spillbare John Aldrich, og dermed så står det 4-1 til Liverpool. Og det blir også sluttresultatet i denne kampen, men la oss... Det er hardt nok for de første eidmen å være veldig busy, å holde mennesker som har fintet i kraven. Barnes nå med en kross, og en god kross! Og en gol fra Aldrich! Vel, den nye strikeforsen, selv om Aldrich var der for en del av denne sesjonen, has struck for Liverpool with nine minutes gone. John Barnes, the new man from Watford with the cross, and Aldridge, the look-alike Ian Rush, does the work that Rush did so well. The header just going in at the far post. 1-0 to Liverpool. who's already scored from a penalty spot uh, this season in the 4-1 win at Coventry City. It's he who's going to take the kick against Tom McAllister. Aldridge, right foot, sends McAllister the wrong way, and that's Liverpool one up after 50 minutes play. John Aldridge's third goal of the season. Not given for John Aldridge. 
Okay, this is Venison. And here's Barnes. And Aldridge this time, 2-0. 38 minutes gone. Liverpool make it look so easy. And John Aldridge keeps a record going of which Ian Rush would be proud. This is the eighth time he started a league match for Liverpool, Aldridge. And he's scored in all eight. And Aldridge has a chance to maintain this remarkable sequence of his. Barnes got his body in front again. The bid stick. The play. The flag is up. The flag is up. It will not count. Aldridge, the player who put it in, but the flag was up. Even so, a moment that uh, Peter Beardsley will have enjoyed because he showed the sharpness that he's been struggling to find of late. Really whipped away from his man, but Aldridge just at the bottom of the picture there moved just too soon and was rightly given offside. And then Hanson. Trying to get McMahon through. Aldridge is on the far side. A great break here by McMahon, a lovely cross by him, they left Aldridge for a moment, and there's the goal that puts Liverpool 1-0 ahead, Ian St John. Well, you have to say to Alan Hansen, what marvellous play, he had the ball, he controlled it, he changed direction two or three times, and then played a, a most delightful ball for McMahon. McMahon did well, of course, getting the cross, but Alan Hansen instigated it that move. So Aldridge takes his total to 13, top scorer in the first division. John Aldridge. At last for Liverpool. taken the first division's leading scorer moves on now to 15 goals after a hangover half hour liverpool put together a devastating burst this is their eighth corner in as many minutes and oxford were united no more it wasn't one of aldridge's classier goals but the home fans could only look back to a year ago when he was doing the same in an oxford shirt now that was barnes looking for nickel Barnes took on Caesar. Still Barnes, brilliant. Parton couldn't convert. McMahon, three in the way. Tony Adams had got to put to it. Well, McMahon won that back wonderfully well. Beardsley. Oh, a goal for Aldridge. Right on half time, it's John Aldridge. What about McMahon's contribution there? Absolutely fantastic. No wonder they're shaking his hand. He won it back on the touchline, motored away, three facing him, into Beardsley. Lukic narrowing the angle at the near post, got a hand to it, but look at Aldridge. That's the poacher's position. Then, after half an hour and without warning, Nichols' cross found Aldridge. Suddenly, 
Anfield was enjoying its familiar rituals again. Aldridge converted, but Forrest held on to gain the psychological advantage for their cup semi-final next Saturday. And it's down now to John Aldridge. Who scores? Liverpool take the lead in the 13th minute. Unlucky for Forrest, but Aldridge scores there his first FA Cup goal for Liverpool, even though it's his 24th of the season and his 11th from the penalty spot. And as you see it again, he took one against Sutton last week in the league and he put it in exactly the same place. Aldridge not hanging around there, he went for the same side of the goal as last week. Well, Liverpool calling on all their hardened experience as Forrest start the second half in the ascendancy, but this is what happened before, Barnes, Aldridge is there, Aldridge! And exactly the same again, Liverpool come out of defence and snatch a vital goal, and again, Barnes involved, and what a volley from Aldridge! 52 minutes, Steve Sutton beaten by a decisive finish, and Barnes combines with Beardsley, what quality there between the two England players, and look at this for the volley, one of the best goals you'll see this season. This was a classic goal, John Barnes and Peter Beardsley combining together, Barnes knew where Aldridge was, and just look at the way he put that away. And the second goal really was a, a delightful move. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's Peter that fed the ball out to John, and it was a sweet cross, and I just got my foot to it in the volley, and it flew in, yeah. I think there might be a bottle of champagne waiting for you in the, in the I dressing room. I don't room, like John. champagne, I'd rather have a pint of lager. Well, let's hope that's there for you. Well done, and thanks <laughs> right, for coming man. to us as well, mate. Right. Beardsley, oh, he seems to be able to find space and find Aldridge. And that is another superb Liverpool goal. Peter Beardsley made it, John Aldridge scored it, and as with everything Liverpool do, it looks simple, but it was of a quite stupendous quality. Beardsley in his own half here, hits the ball, what, 30 yards into the path of Aldridge, who just jogs it past the keeper to make it 2-0. Aldridge chasing here, came off Foster. Chettle. Oh, well played, Spackman. And Beardsley, and Spackman. And Aldridge, it's five! And Aldridge is counting up the goals against Forrest. Here we go again. Beardsley, Spackman. Aldridge and nothing Wassel or Pierce could do about it. A couple of minutes from the end, John Aldridge gets his second of the night. It was almost half time before Liverpool got the inevitable first goal. A move that's been seen all season. Barnes creating the room. Aldridge the finish. Against Luton, just over a quarter of an hour gone. And Ray Houghton's corner, headed on by Craig Johnston, a spectacular bicycle kick from John Aldridge to make it 1-0. How hard was it for you to replace a legend like Ian Rush? The team made it quite easy for me in the end, you know, uh, the gaffer went out and bought Peter and uh, John Barnes and, uh, and Ray Alton and, you know, they, they started playing, you know, my sort of balls in the box from the wings and uh, I, was, I was fairly happy last year, you know, with, with scoring the goals they did. Forward by Whelan, lovely running by McMahon and Tracy. <laughs> He's learned a few tricks from Besson, but Barnes can get it back in, and Aldridge has scored for Liverpool. The goalkeeper was stranded. And John Aldridge puts Kenny Dalglish's side back to 1-1. And Simon Tracy, in Wimbledon fashion, came a long way out of his area to head that ball away. But the quick thinking of John Barnes, I'm sure when we see this again, initially a good run by McMahon, but Tracy's header dropped to Barnes, and look how quickly he got the ball into the middle, and how Aldridge put that away sweetly with the first touch 
on 23 minutes. Well, I suppose if one player is under threat with the return of Ian Rush, it has to be John Aldridge. So he's got a reason to be particularly satisfied with that equaliser. Beardsley's touch nicely done. That's the combination between Beardsley and Barnes here. There are two waiting across, Aldridge and Houghton. Still Barnes. Aldridge. Yes, that will do nicely. John Aldridge, who possibly affected more than most by Thursday's news regarding Ian Rush, has now scored both goals here today for Liverpool. And this was a nice one in every sense. Left foot control, a swivel, a right foot volley. You won't see many better goals inside the penalty area than that. And the first time Kenny Dalglish's team have been ahead against Wimbledon at Wembley. John Barnes, the provider with the cross. Aldridge lofted it, turned and found the corner. When did you first hear about Ian Rush returning, John? I just heard it um, on the radio in my house um, Thursday afternoon when I was playing snooker. And your reaction to that? Well, um, obviously Ian's a tremendous player and for the club to have him, um, it's, it's tremendous. But um, to do my own position, like uh, it's, I've just got to play to the best of my ability and see what happens. You do accept that if a player like Ian comes on the market, the manager has to be in there? Yeah, well, I think if Kenny wouldn't have got him, I think some other club would have got him. So I've just got to accept it and, and just battle on. And as I say, the, the last, uh, last word will be with the manager. But you are at this moment, it's not a case of turning around and saying, well, Ian's coming back, it must mean me out of the side. Um, possibly will. Uh, but as I say, all I can do is just try and make it hard for the gaffer, um, decision-wise, and, and just, just see what happens, Bob, you know. goes Barnes, Brit is after him, shirt up in the middle but for Liverpool, Aldridge is there! And Liverpool are off the mark! And the man put under pressure by the return of Rush has done it again. Barnes with the cross. A bounce that eluded the Charlton defence, but not the head of Aldridge, beyond Bob Boulder, and Liverpool are on the march again. Barnes the provider, Aldridge the grateful receiver. Barry Venison, long ball towards Aldridge, he's after it, and some good work by Boulder, but he's there by Aldridge. He took the second chance superbly for his second goal of the game. What a fabulous ball through it was, though. From Venison. And here's Aldridge. Boulder does well there with a good reaction. Sadly for him, though, it falls straight to Aldridge again and makes no mistake. So John Aldridge, goal number two. Reed, cut out by Morby. There's the long ball again, trying to get Beardsley away. Lurking in the middle once more, John Aldridge. Barnes coming up from the back. Aldridge is there for the hat-trick and makes it. What a reaction. Who's heard about Ian Rush? Bob Boulder beaten three times by the man they said would lose his place when Rush returned, John Aldridge. A great ball played out of the defence again, and in the end, that was the simplest of the three, but they all count. Beardsley's work was excellent. Barnes came in strong as you like. And there's Aldridge. What a smile, and why not? Today's presentation to John Aldridge 
for being last year's leading first division scorer, an illustration of the marvellous options available to Kenny Dalgleish. Nickel searching for Beardsley. Oh, and he's got between two of them. And Aldridge is free. Liverpool are in front. John Aldridge, the scorer, created by Beardsley. Kenny Dalglish has reverted to playing John Aldridge alongside Rush, and having two natural goal scorers paid off 14 minutes from time. Rush unable to turn in a John Barnes cross, but Aldridge was there. Like his illustrious partner, scoring at home for the first time this season. The Ian Rush John Aldridge combination works a charm at Loftus Road. The dreadful pitch can't stop Liverpool getting three more points. Ablitz, Beersley, picking out Houghton. Seems to be getting more space in this second half. Benison to McMahon. Benison again. And tied to Houghton. All to Ray Houghton. A little toe poke by him. And it's in there by Aldrich. The man who couldn't find a place in the starting lineup, they preferred Ian Rush. Their top scorer, John Aldrich. They worked this move so well. A lot of credit there to Ray Houghton. A little toe poke there. And there's Aldridge with a looping header over Lukic. John Aldridge, what a time to get a goal. Yeah, I knew there wasn't long left. And uh, Greece put a good ball in. Uh, I've just got the right side of the defender and stuck my head to it. And luckily, haven't caught it as well as uh, I'd like to have. Uh, You've had three time. tremendous games with them, haven't you? Yeah, they're, they're very good sides. And... Uh, I think we, we deserve this tonight by four, you know. Played probably the best we've played all season, I think. Because you struggle with, with key players being out for so long. Yeah, well, it says a lot for the lads that's coming in, done a great job, you know. Brilliant right through, throughout the team. I remember at the start of the season when Ian Rush came back, people were saying, with a John Aldridge now, well, it's not a bad answer, is it? No, well, I just want to play every game. I mean, hopefully, be with Rushy up front, just to see how it goes, but I get enjoyed every time playing. You know. Makes up for the disappointment of a couple of years. You've got some fans behind you there. Oh, the, the best in the business, you know. Yeah. Many congratulations, John, and good luck in the next round. Thanks, Chief. Well Aldridge. And he converts it easily enough. So Aldridge gets his eighth goal of the season. Houghton. Barnes. For Houghton. He's pulled it back beautifully. Aldridge! What a recovery! Two goals in three minutes. Houghton doing the spade work this time. And Aldridge to his undisguised delight. Met it right on the forehead. And it flashed past Turner. But they kept Liverpool at bay until 15 minutes from time. Then Steve Nicholl and Ray Houghton combined for John Aldridge to show his nose for goal. Ian Rush, the first to congratulate the scorer. because Ian Rush was the player they were looking for but he actually peeled away and into the gap came John Aldridge there's Rush moving across and in comes Aldridge behind got in front of Thompson with a really powerful header came out, came back again Aldridge beautiful goal gives Liverpool the lead in the 58th minute and it's 2-2 through John Aldridge and what a header to reply with and Newcastle yet again failed to hold the lead a smart
smiles are back on Liverpool faces and it was a terrific flick from John Aldridge from Whelan's whipped ball in Aldridge Nickel on the right side Beardsley. Two waiting around the penalty spot. Barnes is over. Doesn't need the touch of Barnes. Aldridge has leveled the scores. And Aldridge keeps up his scoring sequence. And it's back to 2-2. Two -two. Good cross. And Aldridge got between the two defenders, and Barnes, who was unmarked, wasn't needed. Pressure still on. Aldridge! From McMahon. 3-2. Two. two goals in under a minute from John Aldridge. We don't need telling what it means to him, to the Liverpool supporters here, and those back on Merseyside. They've righted the wrongs of the first half very quickly indeed. McMahon saw it so quickly, a powerful header, and a good finish. And the Republic of Ireland striker with a chance of his seventh goal in six games with the penalty. The champions, 2-0 winners, and Aldridge, Liverpool's penalty king once again. There just seems to be no way through for them. You can't say the same, though, about Liverpool. They've been carving out chances at will. And this is one for Aldridge that he has taken just. So he extends this remarkable run scoring in a seventh consecutive game for Liverpool it looked as though he had too much time as Whelan played him through superbly Pears held him up blocked it the first time and off the post and in fact in off Parkinson in the end the Anfield crowd were treated to an exhibition Luton coming unstuck John Aldridge opened them up with the first of five although there was surely a hint of offside that was simple enough, and so too was the second. John Barnes shot, only parried by Les Seeley. Aldridge snaps up the rebound. And Aldridge got up to complete his second hat-trick of the season. Liverpool beginning to play again. Luton with a few problems. Liverpool 5, Luton 0.
Cambridge cancels that then it kicks immediately time for people to calm down and collect their thoughts after this sensational start to the second half two penalties in quick succession both converted with one each Whelan for Liverpool but Marne Houghton to his right is Aldridge on Marne forward and red shirts arriving he looks for Aldridge and finds him Aldridge it's 1-1 and judging by the rules there are more Liverpool fans in Dubai than there are Celtics because that's really brought the crowd to life John Aldridge a brilliant ball by John Barnes picked him out over the head of the defender Rogan and Aldridge in this situation well you could bet your mortgage on him and he slid it home in the 28th minute of the second half. It's a beautiful ball, uh, ball by uh, John Barnes coming over the selfie defender. If anybody in the world in, to be in a position like that to score, then you'd pick John Aldridge. A absolute perfect for him. And we're seeing again here the magical skills of John Barnes just waiting, looking forward, clipping the perfect ball, really, over the defender's head. Rogan could do nothing about it. Clinical finish by Aldridge. So John Aldridge steps up to the spot. Liverpool's first choice penalty taker, of course. Pat Bonner will face him. Celtic having already missed. Can Aldridge give Liverpool the lead from the spot? He can. You don't get any extra goals for it, but he also sent Bonner the wrong way. 1-0 to Liverpool from the spot. Aldridge collects his second goal here in Dubai. And a satisfied smile as Aldridge makes it 1-0 on penalties. Oh, it was aimed at Barnes but never reached him. But Venison giving Houghton another opportunity to test the Millwall defence. And it comes to Barnes. Well saved, but Aldridge is there, and Liverpool take the lead. A vital goal in their hunt for the championship. Barnes. Find it difficult to get that ball off him. <laughs> well, took three. Oh, look at this, too bad. It was a brilliant stop by Barnes, and it must be a second. Yes, Aldridge. Two nothing. A lot of Liverpudlians in there, and enjoying the sight of the genius of Barnes and the clinical finishing of John Aldridge getting up on that. What a mistake by Bonner, and in it went. Again, McMahon drifting forward. Well, that's a beautiful ball. Look at this. Barnes. And he'll come in. And there's the third. Aldridge in second. A masterly move by Liverpool, appreciated by both sets of supporters. It was also well combined. McMahon up the root of it, and that immaculate pass to the feet of the most lethal man on the field and Aldridge has touched the ball I think about three times and scored twice Houghton again the long ball that's searching out Johnny Barnes on the far side he's free Barnes great save Aldridge a goal 
John Aldridge. Liverpool in front. Fourth minute. And the long ball towards John Barnes. Fox, Brian Laws, they got tangled up, two defenders in each other's way. And Barnes drove it, brilliant save by Sutton, really unlucky the keeper. But John Aldridge, that's his instinct, that's his forte, and that's the lead for Liverpool. It, it was a great save. Uh, as it drops down, John Barnes not going, realising he's not going to get there, and suddenly sees him pop up, hits it with his right foot, and really John Aldridge reacted very well because it was behind him, and he just looped in. There are times in matches when Liverpool quite distinctly move up a gear, and this is one of those moments now. Houghton. Barnes again. Houghton. Beatrice. Oh, it's got in! Tommy Gaynor couldn't stop Aldridge getting in. And Liverpool are back in front. sure but Tommy Gaynor was very close to it number seven and Beardsley and Aldridge went in with him Aldridge will claim it it's Aldridge's goal very emotional occasion obviously John and a tremendous performance by Liverpool yeah I thought we played great uh, first half especially I thought you know we just eased off a bit towards the end and let him in but uh, all due respect to the lads, like we come back in second half and you know we got the two goals, which you know made the same. Sure. Tell us about this one, John. Um, I don't know much of it actually. I remember Barnsley picking it up and having a shot, and uh, I've just followed in in case they've only saved it, and uh, I've just got the rebound well. Yeah, but you say that it made a tremendously quick reaction. Aye, aye, it's not bad. I'm happy with that. You're going over your head, aren't you? Aye, I don't know with my neck muscles, I think. Aye. <laughs> and now the second one. Uh, I think Razor done great here, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he chipped the far post, and I thought Peter was going to flick it off my head. And I've just got above him and, and just uh, got my head to it. Probably foul Peter there, I think, to score it. <laughs> John Aldridge is the man given the responsibility. He scored four times from the spot this season, but never more crucially than this. He's done it. is the man who scores their top scorer 27 now the season for him a dummy and Sutton got a quite a firm touch on it a real up and under and Rush might get behind them Aldridge trying to get behind them also Rush Aldridge it's 1-1 one, one. tactic actually a real big up and under Seggers missed out Rush played the ball in and Aldridge delighted to finish it off the break Liverpool badly wanted but for a long time in this game looked unlikely to get the range of travelling fans now hoping to hear the half time whistle Barnes there might be a problem here there is Supplied by John Aldridge. In a big match like this, always nice to get a few good early touches, and I think most of the Everton lads have had a good touch early on, which will help them. This is Nickel looking for McMahon. Good through ball, he got away from Ratcliffe. Oh, and John Aldridge in a great position, and Liverpool have scored in their first attack. And John Aldridge. The man who missed a penalty here last season in the cup final didn't take long to make up for it. The ball played through was for McMahon and it caught Everton. Ratcliffe was out manoeuvred there. The ball into Aldridge was superb and his finish was clinical. Well, this is why Ian Rush is having to sit his life out on the substitutes bench. Aldridge is finishing with deadly accuracy at the moment. Lots of Liverpool red jerseys waiting here. Barnes, has he run it too far? No, Aldridge! 
Brilliant goal by Aldridge. Well, in the meantime, here's Ray Houghton. A little chip by him. Aldridge is there. That's two. Within two minutes of coming on as a substitute, the man who scored 31 goals last season gets back into that same old fabulous Liverpool habit. A lovely dinked cross here by Ray Houghton. Inch perfect for John Aldridge. And Liverpool gets some breathing space with a two-goal lead. And Aldridge certainly made his presence felt very quickly, coming on as a substitute. Probably his first touch of the ball, Brian, I would think. There you are. The goalkeeper was drawn to the near post and really didn't have a chance there, as always, was waiting at the back post. Well, John Aldridge is on the verge of leaving Liverpool to join Real Sociedad in Spain, but he's named as a substitute tonight. Crystal Palace, for their part, haven't accepted the inevitability of their lot here. But they're in danger of losing a sixth goal because the challenge on Whelan has led to a penalty. Now, there's activity down on the touchline, and Liverpool, who are more concerned usually about success than sentiment, are sending Aldridge on. Beardsley has almost volunteered to go off. Now, will they let him take the penalty? Barnes has taken on that job, and Barnes says, on you go. So, Aldridge, what an entrance it will be if he puts this away. He has done, and it's the biggest cheer of the night. And that's a magnificent moment. It reflects great credit on Liverpool Football Club, on the teammates of the goal scorer. And I just wonder how nervous Aldridge was here. If he was, it didn't show. And that is his 50th goal in the league for Liverpool in his two and a half years with the club. And John Aldridge with that bond with the cop. The Liverpool fan who's lived out the dreams of all the supporters as a Liverpool footballer. The shirt and the boots go into the cop as a souvenir and I'm sure Aldridge will be back here as a fan in the years to come. But what a spectacular finale. Scoring with a penalty with his first touch coming on as a substitute in a 9-0 win.